Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to do a creative film style black and white. This is the image I'm going to be working on today, and the first step I'm going to take is to come down here to my Layers panel and hit my Adjustment button down here, and then I'm going to go to Black and White. And this kind of gives you a little bit of a dull, um, just monochromatic tone, so you're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking here to get it to look the way you want it. I'm going to do that by, again, going down here to my Adjustment Layer button and hitting Brightness Contrast, and I'm going to up the contrast just a bit. I don't want to go too bright and, you know, make her skin too bright, so I'm just going to go around like 40. This is at 39, so I think that looks pretty good. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some noise here, and I'm going to do that by again, my Adjustment Layer button, clicking it, and then clicking Solid Color. I'm going to select a mid-tone gray here and hit OK. And then I'm going to right-click on this layer, just over here in this negative space on the gray layer, right-click and hit Rasterize Layer. And what that, do is, what that does sorry, is it makes that layer editable. And so then we can come up here and go to Filter, and we can go to Noise, Add Noise, and it's set to the highest level it can be at, 400%, um, Gaussian, and then monochromatic is checked. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And then I'm going to put this in soft light blend mode. You can put it in overlay if you want it to be a little more harsh. Uh, I'm put it in soft light so it plays nicely with the skin. And then I'll just put it up to about 30% or so, whatever you think looks good for your image. Um, I think that might be a little too strong for my taste, maybe about right there, 33, I think looks pretty good. And so you can also come in here and kind of play with the light a little bit. Maybe add some in, and to do that we'll come down here again to our Adjustment Layer button, go to Solid Color, I'm going to select a, cream, a creamy tone here and hit OK. And then I'm going to put this in Screen Blend Mode. And then I'm going to grab the layer mask and flip this. Um, I'm going to invert that layer mask so that we can't see the light. I want to only paint it in. So I'm going to hit Control i to cover that layer up. And then because the layer is kind of a creamy tone, I'm going to drag it underneath the black and white layer. That way the, it, the color doesn't show. It's still the black and white. And then I'm going to grab my layer mask here. My color is set to white and my brush is set to 30% opacity. And then I'm just going to slowly sweep this in here where the light is coming from. And you can kind of put this a little bit on her hair there, um, a little bit went on her face. So if you want to remove that, I can go flip my color to black and just paint it off of that little spot there. Um, and you could play with this as much or as little as you want. You could duplicate this layer and you could put it in overlay blend mode if you wanted to um, have a little bit more contrast there. Um, and make it a little bit brighter. And you could also do this on a, a color image. You don't have to do this just on a black and white. So if you turn off your contrast in your black and white layer here, you can see that we've added this light in here as well. And um, that's why I chose a creamy color, so that way if you decide you don't want to use the black and white, your light has already been painted in with a realistic looking tone. And so you can turn this back on, and there is your film style black and white. There's our before and our after. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much and have a great day.